Hello, my name is Franz and today I'm going to show you how to work with the scratch filter in Diamond. First we look at this material uh, we have here and as you can see we have several scratches, uh, blue ones and dark ones. So in order to fix these scratches we first need to uh, create a scratch filter on our timeline so I go to the filter track hit the plus symbol and the scratch is part of the repair filters so I drop in a scratch filter by clicking at it this will show me at the right side the parameters of the scratch filter and the first parameter over here is a show detection button and this would uh, highlight in red the detected scratches um, and burns this into the output so when you have found your parameters it's very important that you disable the show detection that you re really get the removed ones okay um, I go to B view before view to zoom in a little bit to analyze my scratch as you can see we have two different scratches next to each other which makes it a little bit more complicated in this this task so actually I will go for the dark scratch first and then for the blue scratch maybe in a second approach I could change the viewing modes just to look at the different channels so green channel red channel blue channel and when we look at the green channel or red channel we see that the black scratch is very good visible and we see that the blue scratch the other one is visible so in this case I go to detection I go to my green channel and I could go to the detection channel of my scratch filter also to green and it's important to have a rough approximately scratch width I can use my selection tool actually for measuring the width so just dragging a <coughs> drag a rectangular here and on the bottom right I can see it has a width of 4 so this is this is down here actually so I go to my approximately scratch with 2 4 okay so let's see what the detection does so I hit A for the scratch detection and yeah, looks that it finds the scratch another parameter which is very important is course sensitivity in this case the default sensitivity of 5 did find the scratches quite nicely which I'm looking for we're looking not at the blue ones right now we're looking at the, the dark ones and there is a minimum scratch length in percentage of the image height <coughs> so 30% means the scratch has to be at least 30% of the height since we don't have similar structure than this I can even reduce it let's, let's say reduce it to 10 ah, then we find structure over here okay so well let's keep back to, to 30 so you see what this does okay so now I this I limit it to the dark scratches since in the green channel our scratch appears to be dark so that's another safety measure that we don't get wrong detections and another parameter here would be stickiness stickiness this parameter means once it finds a scratch and sometimes the scratch is not visible that much anymore then it loses the scratch but when the stickiness is higher 
it will follow the scratch longer uh, so even if it's not less visible but this one here looks quite good for dark scratches so I zoom in a little bit again and I show hit now show detection off which would go into the repair mode so I can do a before after toggling and I see that the black scratch is kind of okay right now okay sometimes it's like this that the, um, the scratch is not always the same thickness and some or it's not that st strong at the border so sometimes it some leftovers remain on each side so I could go with the enlarge scratch on left or right side to enlarge the detection mask but in this case I want to keep it as small as possible okay first scratch the, the, the dark scratch is done so now I will focus on the blue scratch in order to do so I create another track and I put in another scratch filter this scratch filter has now the defaults from my previous scratch filter as in the amount overs when you the, the last parameters are remembered so I hit up here the reset, the master reset of the tool to get back to the defaults I go on to the show detection mode again and I will measure now this scratch and this scratch is fairly wider so probably it's 5.6 so I go to the 5.6 and as we could see it's most prominent in the blue channel and in the blue channel it will appear as white okay so I'm going in the detection also to the blue and so I just want to go for bright ones and as we can see now the detection mask is what we before after is now finding quite nice the blue one as we liked it so I hit disable now the detection and see how the repair looks and yeah, I can see it a bit that there are some leftovers here and here so in this case I will do this trick with the enlarge on both sides and okay the scratch is actually uh, removed in this case I will try now to render the whole scratch over this couple of frames by hitting render all okay done so I go to the next go to before and go to the next frame and do it before after Ah, and I can see here it's not detected it fully so I try to go down with the scratch length to 10 and probably I need to remove this one as well okay so I have done this the detection length I've gone to 10 that shorter scratches are also found and looking here first pass second pass okay so I will re-render this now on the whole actually of course all the scratch tools have a region of interest so I could actually limit I could limit this to this to a certain uh, area that I avoid side effects somewhere else in this case okay I will when we are going for this and maybe this scratches so let's draw a region oops sorry let's draw a region around here 
where actually the scratch is and I could draw another one around here and I would need to copy my regions now to the other filter I can do this by simply copy and paste and now I'm sure that it's only detecting oops, uh, only detecting inside this you can render all So be before the sequence, after. We also see that there is still some flashy around this. We could remove this easily by adding an, or we can reduce it, let's put it this way, by adding a noise, a temporal noise over it, which, <coughs> which will make look it nicer when you play it back at the end okay and here in the first frame we see on here I'm not happy with the with the fix over here so this can be at that at some parts the fix is not perfect so I'm switching to the tool track select my interpolate tool and try okay try to fix this so that it's fitting better into sequence okay not perfect fix but for now it should be good enough so I can do a um, side by side actually to see and go into full screen mode to show you now before here we had this scratch and we fixed it to this fairly automatically by using two scratches one for the dark one and filters and one for the dark one and one for the blue one and I hope this is showing you how to operate the scratch filter. Thank you.